Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, it's your boy Larry, and I'm back again with another video. Oop, I forced some of the, uh, oh my God, y'all, hold on. I got so much stuff going on at once right now. That's giving what it's supposed to give. Superior. It's the um that truffle sauce in there. Mmm. I almost like that way better than regular macaroni and cheese. Period. So it's turkey day. Like when she be like, it's time. It's turkey time. I'm playing though. Let me stop. But yeah, so it's Thanksgiving again. I know last year I did a cooking um like for myself for the first time uh, type of video. What I make last year, I made ham, greens, macaroni and cheese, um, stove top dressing, and sweet potatoes. That was pretty it. Um, and I'm about to do this year's version, basically, um, of what I'm gonna make. Um, I can show y'all the desserts I already made. Um, I made, a cherry cheesecake, as y'all can see. I'll show y'all like a little bit later, like what it looks like in more detail. And I made, I made a pecan pie last night um, because I didn't want to really like do all that later on. Last year I didn't make, did I make any dessert? I don't think I made any dessert. Last year, last year I didn't make any dessert at all. But this year, I am making this macaroni and cheese. This one is so good. It's macaroni and cheese, truffle, and pochini mushroom. Got it from Aldi, so good. I'm gonna put my own touches on it, of course, you guys. Of course, I got the sour cream, and I got the shredded cheese, and I got, you know, I got it, and I'm gonna put it in the oven. It's gonna be crispy on top, creamy, blah, 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 period. And I got the stove top. This was good last year, not gonna lie. I mean, I'm not making like my mom's and my grandma's version because it's just me and I'm not about to do all that work. Like that's a lot of work, <laughs> for real. And then I got my ham. This is the hickory smoked boneless uh, spiral spiral sliced ham. Um, and I'm gonna cook this first because this takes the longest um, pretty much in the oven. I don't know if this is, oh, it's already cooked. I mean, basically I'm just warming it up in the oven. So yeah, this is gonna take the longest. I will start cooking with this and let's go. Let's get started. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bring the beat in. Period. So I got my brown sugar syrup. Boom. Got my ham. I'm about to unwrap. All right, y'all, while my oven is preheating, I'ma start, I'ma start. Like, my camera is so low, but anyway, I'ma start boiling the water for the macaroni and cheese, and yes, I got this pot for the macaroni and cheese, because I'm ready, I'm ready. Y'all already know, I gotta get, that should've been the first thing I did. Oh, it's two and a half cups of water. Water up there now. Yes, sir, it's there. I can't believe that this ham don't have no instructions on it. Like, this is crazy. I get it, it's fully cooked, and you can just like heat it. I'm gonna just have to put it in the oven and watch it, you know? So, while my oven is preheating, while my, uh, my oven is preheating, I'm going to, I got my water boiling from my mac and cheese, and I'm gonna start boiling some water from my stuffy. All right, y'all, so. I got my two pots, those pots going. Okay, am I right? Girl. <laughs> yeah, mac and cheese and dressing. I just wanted to get those started because water takes forever to boil. I'm going to add some seasoning to that dressing one because you know how I do. I'm not about to be 
like a little. Dang, I don't even know what I want. I don't have any poultry seasoning. I do have poultry seasoning, period. I'm gonna add some poultry seasoning. I'm gonna add some garlic powder. And I'm gonna add a little dash of obey into my poultry, I mean my, uh, my supposedly dressing water while this starts boiling. As y'all can see, I don't know why, but I love the Obey season. I add it on everything. Literally, li li literally. And then poultry season. Poultry season is like Thanksgiving is poultry season's vibe. Poultry season's time. Poultry seasoning's life revolves around Thanksgiving, y'all. So, brown ginger. What's this one? Nutmeg, no. So let me get the nutmeg out and the cinnamon out. I'm gonna put some ginger in there too for the sweet potatoes. I'm gonna do sweet potatoes last because sweet potatoes is so fast and easy. I kind of already got it out right now because it was frozen, but yeah, that's why I got this small pot right here for. And I'm gonna cook it back here. Yeah. So boom, I'll come back to y'all whenever something start happening. When they start boiling, I start adding noodles and stuff. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm back boiling. And that is about to start boiling. So I'm going to add, I'm gonna add the stuff in here. Look, the butter not melted yet. So I'm gonna just keep on mixing until the butter's melting. And then we can move on from there. I was on back, it's boiling. The, the butter is dissolved. I'm pouring it in here, y'all. I'm pouring it in here. I'm trying to get a good, what you call it? View for y'all, pour everything in there. Now it says stir. This is a lot of bread. All right, y'all, look. So it thickened up. It look good, it smells good. It smells like last time. Smells really good. I got the crumbs on the back of the spoon because you know how that goes. Sometimes you get the crumbs on the back and they can't get in there. But yeah, y'all, so this is it. Um, it says to let it sit um, off the heat for five minutes. So let's do that. All right, y'all, so my water's boiling for my mac and cheese. I'm about to put my mac and cheese mixture in here. Make sure I get all the little sauces in there. I'm gonna stir it. This one is like a two, two on one kinda. It had the noodles with the with the truffle and cheese in here. So I'm going to let this cook over medium heat for nine to 11 minutes until all the water is absorbed. Then I'm gonna start adding my, my cheese to it, my sour, my, my cheese to it, my seasoning and stuff like that. Then I'm gonna put it in the oven. Uh, put some more cheese until it gets thick creamy and we will be good to go period all right y'all while that is boiling up and doing its thing i'm going to put my ham in the oven and i will keep watching it all right y'all all right y'all so while that's going i got my butter melting for my sweet potatoes i'm making i'm not cutting my sweet potatoes I got this bag, I'm gonna put it in here, I'm gonna put all my stuff. So yeah, let's go, let's get it. All right, I got my sweet potatoes in here with the butter and I'm adding nutmeg. I'm adding cinnamon. I'm adding ginger. And I'm adding some brown sugar. Boom. I'll be adding marshmallows and pecans at the end um, when it all gets melted in together and stuff like that. Yeah. Here's an update on the mac and cheese. It's starting to get thick. I want to boil it so there's no more water left. Boil it out. And we will be good to go. Boom. 
hold on bam it looks good i'm just waiting for it to get a little bit more you know brown on the top and then we will add the the, the honey glaze all right y'all so i pulled the ham out look it's little you know golden brown i'm gonna put the sauce on sauce on and i'm gonna use the little baster thing and i'm gonna pour it on and everything i'll show you guys hold on all right y'all so i was on saying i got the ham out the oven Oop, I poured some of the, uh, oh my god, y'all, hold on. I got so much stuff going on at once right now. Let me turn that down. All right, y'all, so I got the ham out the oven, and now I am applying the brown sugar uh, syrup, and I'm using a brush to like get in the cracks. So it's, you know, juicy and sweet throughout, you know? Child, cause why not? We love a honey baked ham. I just don't like how it's like laid to the side right here. So I got basically like all the little areas open, each slice open. And I can just pour it on there. And then I'm gonna put this back in the oven for like five or six minutes, just so we get like a crispy glaze on top. All right, y'all, so I got my pan here, I got my cheese. I'm gonna put like a layer of cheese. Actually, you know what, let me put some nonstick on here because I don't want my mac and cheese chicken to here. I'm gonna put like a little layer at the bottom. <laughs> Spread it out. Turn this off. I'm gonna put like a little bit at a time. my mac and cheese. Little layer. Like that. Now let's put some in the middle. I know everybody be talking about, oh, you should treasure your own cheese, blah, blah, blah. I already had this cheese and I had already planned on using it for Thanksgiving. So, <laughs> sorry. Next year I will though. I'll share my own next year. How about that? Got that layer of cheese, and now I'm gonna finish putting a rest, which is not a lot on here. I mean, there's not enough. I mean, there's not a lot left to put on here. Like, hopefully it's thickening in there. In the oven. Boom. So then I'm gonna add the rest of my cheese on top. And I'm gonna put some seasoning on top as well. Y'all may think I was putting a lot, but there's nothing really even coming out, to be honest. That's some garlic powder. I gotta be soft with this one, because it be coming out a lot. This is blackened, uh, blackened pepper. So. And then there was, no, there wasn't salt in there. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Then I'm gonna mix it and I'm going to add it, put in the oven. All right, y'all, while that's doing its thing, I'm going to add my big marshmallow in here. 
let it get melted. And once that gets melted down, I'm going to add in my, um, I'm gonna add in my, um, my pecans. So this is going to be all done. And then after that, I'm going to make um, some mixed vegetables and we're gonna be pretty much done. Update on the sweet potatoes. Look at them, marshmallows in there. Looks so good. They're almost done. I'm just gonna wait for the marshmallow to get a little bit more melty and then I'm gonna add the pecans and it's gonna be done. So this is the ham and the lighting. Golden brown edges, honey glaze everywhere. Yummy. So this is done. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And this is an update on the uh, dressing. So good. I added some seasoning to it. Poultry, garlic powder, salt, pepper, uh, and then some obey seasoning. Looks so good. All right, and I just added the pecans to my sweet potatoes. Marshmallows are melted. Look. Woo, I'm ready. You can see the seasoning in there. You can see the cinnamon and ginger. This is about to be so good, y'all. Got my pecans in there. Now we're just waiting for the ham. I don't know what I was talking about. We're not waiting for the ham. We're waiting for the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, I just put it on broil. I just put it on broil, so it should be maybe like one or two minutes now. And then when the top gets golden brown, I will take it out and I will show you guys everything. And then it will be bust down time, period. All right, y'all, I just got it out. It looks really yellow on camera, but it's not. It's Golden brown on top, I'm mixing it. Look at that cheese. Uh -huh. Look at the cheesiness. Yes. Golden brown on top. I honestly got mine out a little bit early because I didn't want it to get too much on there because this is not like the thick, not like a, a big portion that I normally make, cause it's just me. So I didn't want to make like a big, you know, multi-layer one, and I just made a thin one. So it's not as golden brown as I usually do. But yeah, look at that, it looks so good. And it smells so good too. Period. All right y'all, so this is my plate, look at it. Ham, mac and cheese, sweet potatoes, dressing with cranberry sauce. Mmm. I didn't make greens this year because, I don't know. I mean, I made them last year and it was way too much. I was eating it for so long. So I'm like, mmm. I don't really want to make greens this year. So I was like, where's the shadow coming from? I have no idea. Oh, my window. But chill, y'all. So, let's see. That is so weird. I have my lights on in my living room. I mean, in my kitchen. But then the light is coming in from infinity and beyond. Let's try the mac and cheese, y'all. Oh, my God. It looks so good. Mmm. Steaming. Cheesy. Mm. Hold on. That's giving what it's supposed to give. Superior. It's the um that truffle sauce in there. Mmm. I almost like that way better than regular macaroni and cheese. I put some seasoning in there as well, as I showed you guys. That mac and cheese is so good. Superior. I'm about to start a sweet potato. Mm. So good. Mmm. It's about to be gone. Everything good. Superior. If you don't put ginger on your sweet potatoes, 
try it. It's like a, a fresh taste to it. It's so good. Put a little ginger in there, brown ginger. It's so good. All right, I'm gonna try some of this stove top with this cranberry sauce. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's it, and so good. Mm. That's good. I mean, it passes the test. Like, what I have to do all the work of making the OG dressing. Now, I'm not gonna say it tastes better than the OG dressing. It's good though. It's definitely a different flavor than the OG dressing. You know, your family dressing that you make from bread or you start from cornbread. This is definitely a different taste, but, and it's the chicken flavor. It's good, it passed. Like, I'm not about to make all that dressing, just for me, all that work. No way. All right, I'm gonna try the ham. Ham smells so good, looks so good. Glaze, popping, perfection. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm. Got a little smoke flavor to it. Got a little pop to it at the top. A little crispy. Mmm. This is good. What the heck? All right, y'all. Just adding this in here. I made a cherry cheesecake and pecan pie. This is the cherry cheesecake. I already put the pecan pie back in there. But look at it, y'all. I can't believe it. This is the first time I made this by myself. It may look simple. It may seem simple recipe, but I'm happy, actually, that I'm actually happy I made it. And the pecan pie, period. I'm gonna put some whipped cream on top of the pecan pie and that's a wrap for my Thanksgiving, y'all. That's what I made. But I worked y'all. Um, that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video. Just showed y'all me having, making my Thanksgiving by myself again this year. Because I mean, I kind of live far away from everybody and the tickets be busting out of control. So it's whatever. And I already got plans. I got plans for December. That's kind of why I like stayed home because I already made plans, spent the coin on that. So, you know, that's a little hint. Y'all will see in December what we doing, where we going. But yeah, y'all, like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love. And thank y'all for watching my video. Thank y'all for coming through this channel. Peace out.